welcome back to Good Knit Kisses. I'm your host, Kristen, and today we are going to take one single strand from one ball of worsted weight yarn, and we're going to make it into a three strand held as one out of one ball. Let's start by making a slip knot and take the back over the front and the back over the front again, making our slip knot. And with our extra loop here before we tighten it, we're going to feed from our working strand that's coming from the ball, we're going to put this extra yarn through here, through the loop in the back, and now we've got two loops. And we continue to pull on this. This is coming from the working strand, you see? And you can hold on to this extra strand here, the straggler, you can hold it between your fingers. And keep pulling on the working strand and making it longer. Okay, so now, you can let that go, and do you see here, besides this straggler, we've got three held as one. Pretty cool, huh? So when you're crocheting or you're knitting or whatever, uh, these can be held as one strand together. Now, we've got this extra big loop that we don't need. We wanna tighten that up. So we're gonna stick in our crochet hook. And then we wanna make this tighter. Now you can't just sit there and tighten on the, um, you got your little straggler here and you got all this here and it's not gonna get, um, it's just, it's not gonna tighten. So what you do is you go find the parts that will tighten and it's usually the part that's coming from the working strand and the straggler. If I can find them, there we go. All right, so we're doing the three strands together in one and we're going along on our project and all of a sudden we find this little short loop and it's no longer three strands. You want to open up your loop and then pull, go through the middle and pull through on the working strand. And as you do that, it will make this little bitty fold that holds these together. And it's just a very slight bump. It's not as big as a knot and it's really gonna get hidden in your project especially if these are all, if it's all a single color or the variegated where it doesn't matter. Um, a self-striping yarn, I can't guarantee what's gonna happen, but it does work really, really well. And if you are trying to make um, dishcloths or um, uh, pot holders or other things like that too with um, some variegated, it would work really, really well. So if you wanna grab um, some cotton or something like that. So if you wanted to grab like a, a very thin yarn here like this is an eyelash but if you had very thin thread and you wanted to make your own three ply out of that it would certainly work really really well so i hope this has helped you today in making a three ply yarn three strands from one ball thanks again for joining me at goodnight kisses happy crafting